Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're wondering why is she talking but what's but what I'm hearing isn't what she's saying. So at the beginning and end of this video, when I started editing it, I realized that my sound was completely distorted. I don't know what happened. My microphone was plugged in. I I have no idea. But anyways, this was a Valentine's Day look that I wanted to do for you guys. It's so pretty. And right here, this is me just telling you that we used the painter's palette again that I dipped into the greens the first time. And I kind of just wanted to play around with it some more with the pinks and the purples. Blah, blah, just telling you how much I loved it. <laughs> and of course, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. All right, so my eye is already primed with my Revlon Candid Concealer. You guys know the drill with that. So for today's look, we are using the Sample Beauty Painter's Palette again. Last time I used this, I just used the greens, but this time I'm dipping into like the purples and the pinks. So the first shade we're going into is Prince. And then I'm gonna start mapping out where I want this shadow to go. You don't have to worry about it being perfect or anything. We're just trying to get our shape laid down first. Then we're gonna bring it around and wing it out. So what is everybody's Valentine's Day plans? Anything special? I know we can't really do much, but it is what it is. So once you get your general shape laid down, you can just go back and deepen it up, make it as pigmented as you want it to be and try and get it as even as you possibly can with the other eye. Something I'm not very good at. So then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Jojo and we're just gonna start blending out this purple. And I've learned the easiest way to blend is by keeping like 50-50 with the brush, 50% on the purple shadow, 50% on the rest of the eye where you want that blend to go. That's kind of been helping me and doing small circular motions. Sorry if my camera keeps going out of focus. I don't know why it's been doing this lately. I was trying to film a video yesterday and I just didn't like the way the look was coming out and I couldn't get my words out. Like it was just a complete freaking mess. But my camera just kept not focusing and it was pissing me off. And I usually don't ever have a problem with this camera focusing, it's weird. Okay, so then I'm gonna dip into the shade Bon Bon and then a little bit of the shade Canvas. Just mixing between the two and then going over that last pink shade. So I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and then lightly clean up this little edge right here because this is where we're gonna cut our crease. And I don't really need to clean up the rest of it too much because I didn't drag shadow down that far. If you did, go ahead and clean up whatever you need to. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease really fast off camera. Well, fast for you, 20 minutes for me. And then we will come back. The cut crease is on. <laughs> so, okay, so I cut my crease to about right there, and then I just took a wipe and just cleaned it up right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flat brush. What is this? This is a Morphe Jeffree Star T JS11. I'm just gonna take the rest of the concealer on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna kind of drag this down just a hair. I want to smooth it out, but I also need it as a base for the shadows that we're going to lay down. But I'm not going to take it down all the way to my lid. Okay, so then you're going to be left with something that looks like this. So then what I'm going to do is go back in with that first purple shade, and I'm going to start putting this on the lid. And it's going to look messy and it's going to look weird at first, but it works out. I'm gonna take it just a little bit above my crease. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. If you know, let me know. 
But this is just what I found that works for me. And then just make sure you're deepening it up to your preference, however deep you want it. Whatever floats your boat. So then you're gonna go ahead and dip back into your pink shade and then just blend out those edges. Kind of just what we did on top. But you wanna make sure you're leaving at least a little bit of space of concealer left. You don't wanna fully close in that area. So far it looks pretty even. <gasps> oh. All right, then you're gonna go ahead and take your Q-tip again and go ahead and get your remover on it, whatever you're using. And then we're just gonna kind of wipe away this area right here. And the reason for that is because when I was at Morphe, I ended up picking up some of the P. Louise Acid Rain paints, and I really wanted to use them. I used them in a super small way today. I want to use them like all over my eye and just play with them, but I just kind of wanted an excuse to use them today. So I decided I would use them as a little eyeliner. So the first one I'm using is in the shade Raver, and it's just like this super hot pink shade. And I'm taking a very, very small, you probably can't even see that on camera, small little eyeliner brush. This is the Morphe 251. And we're just gonna try and match up this liner. These things are actually super cool. I wanna use them like all over my lid. I almost did that, I almost did like a spotlight eye and used this in the center, but I wanted to do something a little bit funner. I don't know. I'll have to do that in another video. So we're only gonna take it just a little bit down our lid, and then we're gonna go ahead and dip into the purple shade, which is called Ibiza really pretty purple shade. Wipe off your brush from the pink. And then we're just gonna finish off this wing. So I know it looks a little messed up right here, but I learned that if you just let it dry and then you go over it with eyeshadow, it completely covers it. Cause I messed up over here in this corner and you can't even tell. But they're very, very pigmented. They're easy to use. They're super soft. These are great. See, like right there, I messed up with that line, but if I just let it dry and then go over it with more shadow, it'll completely cover. Then when you get to the end where the pink meets the purple, just go ahead and mix between it. Just take your brush and just start mixing. So I just went ahead and like fixed this little area right here and you can't even tell that I had a little boo-boo. It looks, it just covers so easily and just so effortless. Okay, so now for the glitter. Because I couldn't do this look and not have glitter. Like I just, I couldn't. It's, it wouldn't be in my, it just, it's not me. So I went in with Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter in Grind. It's just the baby pink one with a bunch of different reflex in it. And then what you're going to do with this is fill in this empty area right here where we left it open with a concealer, just fill that puppy on in. And like I always say, these work best in a couple of coats, you know, like two, three. So go ahead and let that dry down and then go in with a second coat if you want to, you don't have to, but. Quit playing games with my heart. I feel like I haven't worked with purples and pinks in so long, because I feel like when I first started my channel, it's like all I ever used. So it feels good, like dipping back into my roots. Okay, so now it's time for the gems, and this is like the best part. So I used these gems that I got off Amazon. They're, let me close it so I don't ruin it, but there's just a bunch of different colors in them. I don't even know if you can tell on my eyes that they're different colors, but I can tell, so that's all that matters. So I went in with the pink and purple ones, and I'm just using the Duo Lash Glue doing a little dot 
where I want them to go and then just sticking them on there. Cute. You can add as many as you want. You don't even have to do the gems if you don't want to, but I couldn't resist. They're not perfectly the same on both sides, but they will do. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara, some lashes, and then we will come back and finish up everything else. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and just did my base off camera because I didn't wanna bore you guys with it. I didn't really do or use anything new, except I did try this new primer from e.l.f. It's the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. So you guys know I love my Jelly Pop Primer, but I've been wanting to try this because I've been seeing it all over TikTok and I finally got it in the mail yesterday. And I will say, I think the Watermelon Dew one is stickier. This one is sticky, but not as like tacky. Um, it smells amazing if you love mint, it smells delicious. It does have like a nice cooling effect on your skin, but I mean, it's just, it's good, it's cute, I'll use it again. And then I just went ahead and used my e.l.f. camo foundation again, because I love it, it's so beautiful, it's gorgeous. But everything else that I used on my face, I will have in the description box as always. So let's just go ahead and finish up the under eye. I kept it super simple because I felt like the top had so much going on that I didn't want to overpower the bottom and take away from the top. One thing I'm not liking with this look right now is the lashes. On camera, it looks like my whole lid is just black, at least from what I'm seeing in my viewfinder. But in person, you can see the pink and the purple liner showing through. So I don't know if that's going to pick up for you guys, but... I don't know, to me it just looks super dark on my lid, but it's okay, it still looks cute. So what I did for my lower lash line is I just went in with the Ibiza P. Louise base and I just lined my waterline with that. It's safe to do so, it's super easy to use, it doesn't get in your eye, it doesn't burn, nothing like that. I, oh my god, I love these, these are amazing. Also, the lashes that I used are the Flutter Lashes and the Style Intoxicating. I also picked those up from Morphe, and they're actually kind of bomb. I'm not liking them with this look because I feel like it's taking away from it so much, but they're really pretty lashes. They're like super full, super dramatic. Obsessed. Okay, let's finish up this look and get our lips done. I'm going to go in with ColourPop PFF. Duh. Could have guessed, right? I was going to do a pink lip, but I thought maybe that would be too much. I don't know. And then I'm going to take Virgin. Is this Virgin? Yes, from Morphe. This is one of their matte liquid lipsticks. And then I'm going to top that off with the Kylie Plumping Gloss in Bubbly. This is gonna burn the shnikes out of my lips. This thing is intense. I used it on its own once and whoo, she was rough. All right guys, so this is it for the finished look. What do you guys think? Now it's a little dramatic. There's a lot going on. There's glitter, there's gemstones, there's giant hoops. But honestly, I think the look came out like super fun and just pretty. These hoops though, can we talk about these freaking hoops? These things are massive. They are so big and I'm really disliking my hair right now, like. Ugh. Okay, so here, like I said in the beginning, it happened at the end as well. And I'm, ugh, it's so frustrating. But again, just me telling you how much I really enjoyed doing this look and it was just a cute little Valentine's Day look that it was super glam and I loved it. And to follow me on my socials and subscribe like always. And I will see you guys in the next one.